The presidential debate on Tuesday took an unexpected twist when Vice President Kamala Harris effectively derailed former President Donald Trump's momentum by mocking his campaign rallies. In response, Trump turned to outlandish and debunked claims about immigrants abducting and eating pets in Springfield, Ohio, in an attempt to regain control. Trump's swift deflection to this false narrative highlights his campaign's reliance on misinformation. The baseless allegation, originally sourced from a viral social media post, was tied to an alleged claim by a neighbor's daughter's friend about a cat being eaten. Harris, unfazed by Trump's distraction, responded with a bemused talk about extreme shrug, underscoring how far removed from reality the claims were. For Trump, the laughter may have stung more than any policy critique. It revealed a deeper issue, his increasing inability to separate social media's noise from reality. Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance of Ohio, also floundered. Vance attempted to legitimize the false pet-eating claims, saying they don't have all the evidence, despite local officials thoroughly debunking the story. The senator's attempt to both sides the issue backfired, leaving him appearing out of touch with his own constituents. Springfield, a city of about 59,000, has seen an influx of approximately 15,000 Haitian immigrants since 2020. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine, a Republican, praised the newcomers as hardworking, offering state resources to support them. However, anxiety in the community has been stirred up by misinformation, including unfounded accusations of immigrants eating local pets. The narrative gained traction after the tragic death of 11-year-old Aidan Clark in 2023, when a Haitian immigrant's minivan collided with a school bus, killing the boy. Although the immigrant involved was legally in the US and has been sentenced to prison, the tragedy has been exploited by political figures to fuel xenophobic fears. Nathan Clark, Aidan's father, expressed his outrage at how Trump and his allies have used his son's death to stoke division. Speaking at a Springfield meeting before the debate, he pleaded with politicians to stop spreading lies. This needs to stop, he said, adding, we can't even protect his memory when he's gone. Please stop the hate. The Clark family's plea, along with local officials' findings, revealed no evidence of pets being abducted. Despite this, Trump and Vance continued to perpetuate the debunked claims. Even Elon Musk has joined Trump to propagate this theory on social media, mostly fueled by the cat memes. Trump went as far as insisting during the debate, they're eating the dogs, the pets of the people that live there, offering no credible evidence to back his statements. ABC News moderator David Muir fact-checked Trump on air, citing Springfield's city manager, who stated there were no credible reports of pets being eaten. Yet, Trump weakly defended his position, claiming he saw people on television repeating the allegations. Local officials had already dismissed a similar viral rumor of Haitians carrying geese around town. The Springfield News Sun reported that law enforcement found no evidence to substantiate any of these claims. Despite being fact-checked live, Trump and his supporters leaned into the false narrative, with Republicans in Arizona even posting digital billboards stating, eat less kittens, vote Republican.